We've just gotten a patch watch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that we're doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. All right, guys. So, um, CIG just released um, a spectrum post pertaining to patch watch. Okay, patch watch we starts in up 3.24.2. For those that don't know, they just give you some extra details as to some of the features um, uh, that are um, added to a given patch, especially the ones that are not really in the forefront um, for people to know. So um, that's what we're gonna go. We're gonna go through here. Um, and we're not going to waste any further time, okay? So the very first one here says alongside Marquez's feature like the RSI Zeus and updates to vehicle MFDs and power management, Alpha 3.24.2 brings additional updates across the game from characters to home commander. It says character creator updates. Are you like us and spend several hours perfecting your character's look before you start a new game? Uh, 3.24.2 adds new options to the creator to let you tweak to your heart's content including new hair new beards the addition of tattoos and piercings and 24 new character heads add to the dna pool here's a few examples to get your gears turning ahead of release so uh let me show you guys so now um, I was uh, fairly impressed with the characters uh, update. They've, they've added so much more and there's so much uh, more options to to fully customize your character the way you want them. And you can see, right, these look awesome. Some of the hairstyles that they've added are awesome, man. They look really, really good. And the amount of customization it allows is, is amazing. So these are some of the piercings that you can have in different parts of your faces and your ears. And, you know, you can you can have it on both sides or you can have it just on one side, depending on how you want to um, customize your character. Tattoos are also a thing now. So uh, it, it's looking really good. Right. More hairstyles um, for you guys to. Uh, uh, switch between and uh, the characters look awesome man the face the faces look amazing 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 work look at that this is a new character head I haven't seen yet tons of tons of new faces it looks good it looks good it's fairly impressive all right so let's get into arena commander it says arena commander front and visual and quality of life update i did take a look at this and it looks pretty good it looks nice and clean um it says here uh with b.24.2 we introduce um a visual overhaul to the front end of arena commander with a, with a few important changes to note for this visual update, a new brand style has been established for arena commander the host of the simpod experience this style merges the Star Citizen UI style with a more military squadron 42 style to create a unique blend giving the winning commander its own identity. Previously, the front end was uh, limited to static images or videos, but with uh, 3.24.2 introduce a live 3D scene for winning commander's background utilizing the instance hangers. This allows you to summon your selected vehicle and can change it in size depending on your selection. The player's inputs is never blocked, ensuring that the scene is a purely visual and immersive experience. It can be skipped if you want to get into the action as fast as possible, which is awesome. I didn't notice this uh, to be able to uh, select the ship and and the sh and uh, the hangar will go down. And bring your ship and bring it back up was was pretty cool when I did look at it the other time. It says here, in addition to the visual upgrades, we made a few quality of life improvements. It says force launch. So it says tired of that one player not readying up before going to grab a drink. Lobby hosts can now choose to launch the lobby despite their ready status. That's nice. I like that. Uh, remember my selection 
only play one game mode or just want a few clicks the game mode selection screen now features a checkbox to remember your selection this causes your default mode to be the last one you selected which is nice which is nice all right so let's just look at some of the images that they have here it looks nice and clean i really like this new look okay so this is where the hanger will be based on the, the ship that you have selected uh, once you select that vehicle the elevator will go down and bring back bring up that ship that you have selected i believe it should have even these um like the weapons that you have attached to it based on how you customize it um i believe that's what it should do all right so this is an example it's switched to a bigger hangar and it's showing the reclaimer here which is really nice all right and uh squadron battle you can set different uh teams and everything nice and as even spectator that's really nice that's really nice i didn't even know they were even had spectator now all right and this one and this is what's also great about it as they do different events they can change the ui to match what's going on i didn't notice this when i first uh launched it i noticed that this one was up no so it's it's really nice it's really nice all right so um last but not least quantum fuel consumption changes it says here alongside the power management overhaul that 3.24.2 brings we want to point out some changes to quantum fuel coming in this update quantum fuel consumption has been unified across all drives at a rate of one micro scu per 100,000 meters this consumption rate will be varied across the drive grades and size in the future but on average it will remain around this level we'll let you know once further adjustments are made quantum drives will now reflect different strengths per size when traveling short or long distance due to differences in acceleration in each stage as well as the top speed they can reach over long distances the larger drives will get you there faster interesting the larger drives will get you there faster but over short distance you'll find the size one and size two quantum drives are better suited to cut down time travel that's interesting that's okay i like that uh the largest journey in the remember i, I i'm not this actually just came to my mind I was saying in, in one of the previous videos pertaining to this stuff that the smaller ships are going to be for local activities and the big ships are going to be reserved as a carrier to move your big ships uh, to the long distances, right? So this is a testament to that, that the, lar the ships with the larger quantum drives are going to be uh, covering greater distances much faster. So uh, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. All right, so it says here the longest journey in the Stanton system now be under 12 minutes. If you find a journey that uh, takes longer, please let us know in the comments with the name of your ship. Interesting. Additionally, with this change, some community tools may now be incorrect and reference fuel consumption rate no longer used in calculation as we are using an entirely new fuel system with this update interesting really interesting stuff i think they're referring to dps calculator um but i'm sure they'll catch up in terms of uh these uh calculations and ha and then have them corrected on that site but you guys let me know what you guys think of what we just went through um i like these changes especially the quantum drive uh changes i think it's leading us into what they intend to have in it starts since the Alpha 4 Pro. It's going to be tons and tons of big changes with that one. So, you guys let me know your thoughts down below. Before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.